Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot and I am here to do a reading for Aries. Aries, this is your love reading for the month of March. Um, I just did Pisces and I had to delete it. It's late where I live at. So Pisces, I mean Aries, I'm doing yours, then I'm going to bed. Then I'm gonna um I'm gonna do Pisces tomorrow and the other signs tomorrow. So Pisces, this Aries, this is your love reading for the month of March. And I'm doing it a little different than what I did for February love reading. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull a card for you and your person, overall energy. I'm going to pull a card for what was going on with y'all in the past and what's your likely outcome in the month of March concerning, you know, you and your person, the likely outcome. Um... So, let me go ahead and get started. Aries, what is the overall energy for Aries in their person? Queen of Pentacles, nurturing. I don't know if y'all can see. I hate when my camera do this. I hate when that happens. That's a little bit better. So this is your overall energy. The Queen of Pentacles. Um, so that could be letting me know. You guys are both y'all, you both of y'all could be nurturing. Y'all can be being practical, reliable, stable. I just got y'all feeling each other. You know, Queen of Pentacles. You know, very cool, calm, collective. Y'all cool with each other. That's what I'm getting. Whether y'all um, married, together, separated, divorced, y'all cool with each other. That's what I got from the Queen of Pentacles. Um, what was going on with Aries in the past? Three swords. Aries, you had some heartbreak. It could have been a third party. No, that is a third party. Three of swords, that's third party. Um... What was going on with Aries person in the past? What was going on with Aries person in the past? Magician. I don't know if your person could have been manipulating something or manifesting. That magician could be manipulation or manifestation. What's the likely outcome for Aries concerning their love life in the month of March concerning their person? Eight of Swords, Aries, um, I hope this not you locked up. Um, that Eight of Swords can be, if this is not literally somebody going to jail, this is like somebody who is having, mentally, they feel stuck mentally. They feel trapped mentally. And it's self-inflicted. What's the likely outcome for Aries person in March concerning Aries. Uh oh. Ten of Swords. Painful ending. This your person could feel betrayed, or your person probably ended with you, Aries. Um, what was going on with Aries? No, what's going on with Aries and their person's overall energy? What's going on with this Queen of Pentacles? Prince of Cups in reverse. The Page of Cups. This is the Page of Cups. Um, this is heartbreak. Um, the Page of Cups in reverse is also naivety. But the Page of Cups in reverse is somebody that's heartbroken. This is like heartbreak. Disappointment. Um, this could be also... Because um, the Queen of Pentacles is here. So, I don't know if somebody was expecting a pregnancy and they didn't get the news they wanted. Because the Queen of Pentacles can be pregnancy sometimes. And the, the Page of Cups. Wait a minute. No. Wait a minute. No, this is the... I'm sorry, Aries. This is the Knight of Cups. Okay. So, this is totally different. Let me take that back. Everything I just said. So, you and your person overall energy, this is the Knight of Cups. So, this is like a jealous lover. This is somebody that's jealous. 
if your person, if y'all not jealous, this is like the Knight of Cups in reverse. Mm. Aries, is you and your person trying to be practical and stable about some bull crap? Because that's what the page, of, the, the Knight of Cups is in reverse. This is some bull crap. The Knight of Cups in reverse can be like an alcoholic, somebody. <laughs> The Knight of Cups in reverse is a trip. He worse than the Knight of Wands in the upright. <coughs> and the Knight of Wands in reverse. That, that that Knight of Cups in reverse, he, mm-mm. So, I don't know, Aries, if you guys are, what I'm getting, Aries, you and your person is trying to, um, I'm getting y'all, y'all, y'all on some other stuff. Both of y'all. Y'all on something else. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of, um, like self-delusion a little bit. And I'm not talking about intoxication or, you know, somebody being high or drunk. No, I'm getting a little bit of self-delusion between both of y'all. Um, what was going on with Aries in the past? Why is this three of swords here? The moon, yeah. The moon is secrets. The moon is disappointments. Yeah, there were secrets, Aries, whether it was you or your person. That's why that three of swords here. Because there were secrets and you was disappointed. Clarify the moon. Why is this moon here for Aries in the past? What happened to Aries in the past? Why is this moon here? Yeah, five of pentacles. Mm-hmm. You. Yeah, you felt left out on the cold, Aries. Five of pentacles. That's somebody that's feeling left out on the cold. Um, yeah, you felt left out. It was a third party, Aries, and you felt left out. What's going on? With, what was going on with Aries' person in the past? Prince of Swords, the Knight of Swords, yeah, um, I don't know if your person could have, um, did something to you, I don't know if they could have got aggressive with you, I don't know if you had to call the cops on your person, but the Knight of Swords is very, um, can be very arrogant, impulsive, very aggressive, and the Knight of Swords can be violent. What is this Knight of Swords for Aries person in the past? What is this Knight of Swords telling me? Two of Wands. Um, two of Wands. Dominion. I'm getting a little bit. Your person probably was a trip. Let me see. Is this magician? Is this manipulation for Aries person? No. Um, the Knight of Swords and Two of Swords, did Aries person rush and make a decision? Yeah. Your person manifested something in the past, Aries, but they rushed. Whatever decision they made, I don't know if they could have chose somebody else over you, but they rushed and they manifested it. Um, they rushed and made a decision. And that's probably why you felt left out in the cold. And it was like um, secrets and you was disappointed. It was like you didn't expect it in the past. The moon energy, I'm getting something you did not expect or see coming. Yeah, but your person rushed and did something. And could have went off with the third party. I don't know if they got married on you. What's going on with Aries' um, more likely outcome, this Eight of Swords energy? What's going on with Aries? Why Aries' Eight of Swords? Five of Cups. Emotional regrets and loss. Aries, I don't know if um, your person is actually going to have you in this Five of Cups, or this is like your worst fear. The Eight of Swords with the Five of Cups, this is like your worst fear. I don't know if your person is going to do this. Have you like this? Or this is you, like, in your head, like, it's, you know, whatever they did to you in the past, this heartbreak, this is you worrying about it. This is you worrying about it. 
What's going on with Aries person? Likely outcome ten of swords for the month of March. Yeah. Ooh. Death. That's a death card on top of a death card. I, I don't like that. Um, Aries, is you gonna kill your person? Um, ten of swords and death. Is this a physical death? Oh God. Yeah. Um, Aries, your person. Your person might pass away, Aries. That's what the cards told me. That's probably why you ate. I'm. Uh, uh, let me see. Let me ask. Is Aries gonna? Did Aries do harm to their person? Did Aries do harm to their person? No. Okay. So Aries, your person. This is not for all y'all, but um, Aries, your person, your might gonna is gonna pass away. No, let me take that back. It's likely to happen. So I don't know if your person could be sick and it's a 50-50 chance that they might recover and they might not. Because this energy down here is the likely outcome. So it may or may not happen. It's just likely. But it's this energy here is death. It's a physical death, Aries, for your person. <clears throat> yeah, that's told me physical. This is a physical death. Ten of Swords and Death. Um, tell me more about this Death and this Ten of Swords. What's going on with this person? Nine of Cups. They probably drink all the time. The Nine of Cups is somebody that drink, overindulge, alcoholism. Your person probably drink all the time. Um... Yeah, they can die from alcohol poison. I don't know if they be mix it, mixing their liquor with other drugs. They can overdose in something like that. Um, but let me pull an oracle. What's going on with... um? What's... The overall energy for Aries for the month of March. For Aries and their person. Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups in reverse. Give me an oracle for this. Devotion. Devotion. Um. Oh, uh, devotion. Aries. Ah. Uh, what I'm getting, knowing that your person probably drink all the time. Because the Knight of Cups in reverse can also mean like an alcoholic. So it's two alcoholic cards out here. Um, but Aries is letting me know you devoted to this person. That's your energy. However y'all carried on in the past, that's what y'all going to be doing in March. Because you devotion. And you very stable. Because the Queen of Pentacles is routine. Very... So, it's like, what, well, like I said, however you treated this person in the past, whatever you possibly put up with in the past, that's what's going to be going on in March. So, y'all just doing y'all regular, you know, y'all relationship. Give me an energy on Aries in the past. Three swords, the moon, and five of pentacles. Abandoned. Yeah. In the past, Aries, you felt abandoned. That's why you three swords, heartbreak, moon, disappointment, five of pentacles, left outside in the cold. And five of pentacles is sometimes like resources. So if this person drink all the time, I don't know if your lover, they probably they can't work. I don't know if they're officially an alcoholic or they just overindulge. And 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 they could be mixing a liquor with, over, with other drugs and just overdose. But it's let me know in the past areas you felt abandoned by this person. They probably don't work. If they're alcoholic, they can't work. So it's like you probably paying all the bills. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is not reliable. They left you out in the cold. So what's going on with Aries person in the past with the magician, Knight of Swords, and the Two of Wands? What was going on? Communication. Um... I'm getting they they there was some type of communication. They could have said something to you. 
Um, they said something to you, Aries, in the past. That it was something they said to you, and they said it quick, fast, and they made it. It was like a premeditated conversation. Whatever they said, they said it to you quick, and it could have been harsh. Yeah. Clarify communication. Return. Okay, so... Okay, so, okay. It wasn't harsh. In the past, your person manifested a return to you. But they made their decision very quick. They wanted it done fast. They wanted to return to you. Or they wanted you to return to them. Yeah, but they it was a conversation. And your person wanted it rushed. Yeah. I don't know. They could have probably rushed you, Aries. Because it was a third party. So it's a little bit of manipulation with that. What's going on with Aries likely outcome? With eight swords and the five of cups. What's this? Give me an oracle for this. Contemplation. Yeah. This is you in your head, Aries. Um, your likely outcome is you don't trust this person. Um, you're going to be eight swords in your head. I don't think your person is going to put you in five cups. This is just like your, your worst fear. Like you are contemplating. Like this is you thinking. You're contemplating whether your person is going to have you um, disappointed again. <coughs> I don't know. They could have went to rehab. Uh, your person could have went to rehab, you know, cleaned themselves up. And this could be you contemplating whether or not they're going to relapse. That's what that can be that. Give me an oracle for the Ten of Swords, Nine of Cups, and Death. Yeah, action. Action. Um, what I'm getting from this, your person may pass away because of some action that they took. Some action. I mean, this could be them high. They soaring. They, they, whatever they was. I'm getting, they could have been mixing their liquor because the Nine of Cups is drinking. Or they, they're overindulging in something. They doing something. But they th this it made them happy. And they were soaring. Um, they could have got too high. Like I said, I'm getting a little bit like an overdose. I'm getting an overdose. Um, I just saw possibly a, a plane crash as well. This could be a plane crash. Because this is like what I saw was um, when I just looked at that car out the corner of my eye. It's like something going up, like a plane, and then it's coming down. Like, I just, I saw something go up and then come down. So, this could be a plane crash as well. And this car action, that's like an airplane flying. So, um, Aries, if you listening to this and your person, you know your person taking a flight in the month of March, you might want to tell them not to because that plane might crash. I just saw that. That plane went up and came right back down. Or they can pass away on the airplane. Yeah. So, um, give me, give me an oracle on the two of wands. I want to know what this is. Give me an oracle on the two of wands for Aries person. Yeah, unawakened. Um, yeah, your person in the past Aries, they manifested a conversation with you, but I'm getting a little bit of lying. They was lying to you. They rushed and made this decision to probably get you to return to them or if, um, to get you to allow them to return back to you. But they were unawakened. They were unawakened. So they lied to you about something. They wanted something rushed, but they lied because they were unawakened. Yeah, they were unawakened. Give me an oracle on the two of the, the Knight of Swords. Give me an oracle for the Knight of Swords. Give me an oracle on the Knight of Swords. Then Awakening came out. Awakening. 
Hmm. Okay, what I'm getting, like I said, I don't know if your person could have addictions. <laughs> In the past, your person quickly, it's like they... It's like they wanted to rush something be while they was on top. What I want to say. This, like, when they were awakened. Like, for example, if your person have addictions and they went off to rehab or something. This is them returning from rehab in the past. And they want to rush and possibly get back together or get married. Because they were clean. They were awakening. So they wanted to rush. They rushed and made a decision. But the decision wasn't, I'm getting it wasn't thought well thought through. Because it's letting me know they rushed because they were awakening. But it's like the actual decision was, they was not awakened. They wasn't awakened. So, like I said, I'm giving that for an example. I don't know who your person is or what their hangups is or what, you, you know. But this could be somebody coming out of rehab. And they want to rush you possibly even probably for marriage or something. But it's like they were awakening, but it's like they relapsed. So it's like they rush. They made a decision to get married, but it's like whatever decision they rushed you into. They really was unawakened. It wasn't something your person didn't think sign all the way through. Um. Because I know just from talking to friends and stuff, people that have been addicted to drugs and stuff, and they go in that rehab, it tells them to not get into serious commitments for, I think, the first, I think, th the first year or the first, or the first three years of them being clean. Yeah, people that have been through redra rehab, like them hard drugs like that, crack and all that. When them people going through to rehab, I've heard that it's suggested to them that they not get into serious commitments. Like getting married, buying a house, stuff like that. Because like that stress, everyday life, that stress can trigger them to relapse. So they are told like in them 12-step programs and all them programs that them people attend, I've heard that they shouldn't get into like serious commitments because it can trigger them to relapse. <clears throat> yeah. So um, that's what I have for you, for Aries. Um, this is for your love life for the month of March. Like I said, seriously, Aries, if you got a person, your ex or whoever, your husband, ex-wife, whoever, I saw an airplane go up and come right back down. So... If they trying to catch a flight or go somewhere, tell them to wait until April or May or something. Because um, these cards told me that this is a physical death. But it can it can be prevented. It can be prevented. Because my question was for this energy was what is likely to happen. So it's not a guarantee. I just wanted to know what's likely to happen. So, um, yeah, Aries, just be mindful of that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to end it. This is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. Also, please keep in mind, Aries, that this is a general love reading. This is a general and a public reading. So, this energy and information may or may not be for you. So, just keep that in mind. Um, thank you, Aries.